Greetings YouTube, I just want to show you this because I've been thinking about eventually trying to make a push bike that uses a 12 volt windscreen wiper motor off a uh, Mitsubishi Colt, an old one, I think it's 2005. So I've just got it connected to this uh, battery which does need charging. I just thought before I charge it up I'm going to show you it running and how much power it uses and that it still works. I've got the starter motor under here. And I've just got a 7.5 kilo weight precariously balanced on top of it. So I'm just going to show you that spinning round. And then we'll look see what the meter's saying. The weight is just to show you that it's actually doing some work. I don't know how, I'm not saying that's comparable to moving a push bike along, but I'm just going to take the weight off. Now, this was kind of my idea that you would have a socket like this welded on there, and then the square bit that would connect directly to the crank. So that's the idea. By connecting directly to the crank, that would mean that you could still use the gears of the bike. You'd obviously have to get rid of the pedals completely, but there are certain advantages, like you don't need any kind of control, you need, uh, the only kind of controller you'd need would be a very basic 10 pound speed controller and you wouldn't have an active braking system at all. So it would only really be good for, the idea is long distances in the countryside. You can see this uh, battery is quite poor condition. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna charge that up and then I'll make another video seeing how much faster it runs on a full battery. But these, mo these motors obviously have a ridiculous amount of torque just going to show you the meter while I do that and squeeze as hard as my weak little hands can. So you'll see the amperage go up a tiny little bit when I squeeze and put pressure on. But yeah, so that's the idea. That directly to the crank. We would obviously have to have a frame in the bike and will work like so. You can change the direction of the motor by just reversing the two wires. Uh, saying 12 amps peak, but I don't know about that. So I'm going to get this battery on charge. There you go, and that's charging now. Sweet! <laughs> 